So I have my money to take care of everything around me. But my ho my boyfriend is not capable. So I used to support him financially, even in his business. And our plan was to settle down together. And I've been trying my best to keep him. So along the line, I never knew that my boyfriend is seeing another lady behind me. And I was okay, let me begin to move for my life. Let me move on. I decided, I made up my mind to move on. But it was not in my mind because I love him. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Neye, baby. So, guys, today I have here with me this lady. This lady has been on my DM since that there is something she wants to tell my audience that she needs advice. So guys, please, let's listen to her on what things they happen. So guys, if today is the first day you are coming across my video, don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. Okay, please, don't mention your name. Just go straight to the point. Narrate, wait to make you call me. You say you want to tell my audience something, so please go straight. Don't mention your name. Hello, everybody. The reason I'm here today so I'm confused on whom to marry. I've been dating my boyfriend for eight years now, and we have been so close and so tight. I've, I've been a very good friend to him, and he's all I have. I love him, and he loves me. So, and also, I'm into, I'm a businesswoman. I do my business online. I do, I sell with once a week. So, I'm also a, a, a working class lady, so I have my money to take care of everything around me. But my ho my boyfriend is not capable, so I used to support him financially, even in his business. When his business is going down, I will use my money to finance it so that he will make some, he become somebody. And our plan was to settle down together, and I've been trying my best to keep him. So along the line, I never knew that my boyfriend is seeing another lady behind me. The lady that he knows for a very long time, which I never knew. And this lady have been planning to take him away, to take him abroad, which I never knew. So I never know all these things. Along the line, I noticed that my boyfriend, I can never I have not been seeing him for a long time time and now call his line his line is not going i will i now decide to go to his family to go and check on him because his family knows our whereabouts they knows about our relationship his family knows you yes they know okay. so i now decided to go to his family to go and check on him because his number is not going and i went to his last house i will not see him so i now called his family they asked me that they don't know his whereabouts that i should go and look they don't know where he went to so I was, I was surprised. Even if he wants to go anywhere, at least he would let me know. I'm his girlfriend. There's nothing. I'm not keeping secret for him. So he didn't tell me all this why. After one week, I will still go back and I will not see him. I keep searching on him, even on phone, even on WhatsApp. I'd never get him. And I said, okay, maybe that is how he have decided to move on. I waited. After a month, I did not see him. After two months, I did not see him. I did not even hear from him, not even from his parents. I was so worried. And I was okay, let me begin to move for my life. Let me move on. I decided, I made up my mind to move on. But it was not in my mind because I love him. So I now have to move on. Another Along the line, I, meet, I met another guy that is interested in me. But this one is nothing to count on. He's not even, he's not rich. He doesn't have money. This new guy also. Yes, he doesn't have anything. And I now look at it. Am I going to start supporting another person again? Because I know how I, I try to bring the first guy up. How to make him somebody. So now this second one now came again. And he's not anything. He doesn't have money. He's just picking from scratch. So I have to, uh, that I should support him again. And now it's okay. There's no problem. So after, after one month, I have, I'm, I'm dating this guy. I receive a call. After eight months, after a long eight months, a call came to me. And it was on no number. I have to pick the call. And I answered the call. It was my first boyfriend. He was calling me. I was, I was like, how come? Oh, this why? Where are you? He was calling me, begging me 
that um, that he's sorry that he would have he's supposed to let me know before going but only that he don't want to miss that opportunity i say which opportunity is that i say there's a, a lady he met for a long time and the lady have promised him to take him abroad so that is why he he, he left i say you just left without telling me without even dropping a message for me he said that that is that is how he see it that i should forgive him that his conscience is killing him that why he's calling me now is that i should move on i said what yes he said that i should move on that if i see anybody that is interested in me that i should go on with that person i don't know i i, I feel like fainting I feel like fainting. I don't know. I don't know if this thing is coming out from his mouth. I say, okay, well, if it's that the way you want it, no problem. He said that is the reason he's calling me that I should move on with my life. And after I, so many months, after so and many he months, called you and started telling you to move on. Yes. So I now say, okay, since it pleases you, let me go. So after a month again, I now received another call from him. He calls me that he's back in Nigeria. I say, what? I say, okay, welcome back. He said, no, he wants to see me. He wants to see me face to face. I said, okay, well, since he's my ex, I need to go and see him. Maybe there is something important he wants to tell me. When I got to him, I noticed that he's living in a very fine house. And there are so many cars in the house. He, he just come in and tell me, this is my house. I bought this house. I bought this property. And I said, okay, what is your mission of calling me? He now told me that he, he wants me back. I said, what? He said that he wants me back in his life. That he wants me to come back to him so that we can be together. Now I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I am so confused now. And, and I've already started another date. I don't know if I should go back to him. I don't know if I should continue with this new date. But my problem is that the way I have suffered with him, what I have passed through with him, I know how I helped him when he falls. I know how I managed with him for eight good years. I don't know. And I'm still in love with him. The love I You have, still love this guy? Yes. I still have that feeling of love for him. I love him so much i don't know whether to go back to him or to continue with this relationship that i'm doing i'm holding now i'm so confused now i need i need advice i want you guys to advise me on what to do because i don't know whom to marry i don't know whom to marry right now but my mind is telling me to go back to him please help me and advise me what of the lady the lady that he went to visit abroad, have he settled with him? How far about that one? He came back and told me that he came back for me. So I don't know about that lady. But now he said he have changed. That is now for me. He's taking me to anywhere I want. That he wants me to be with him. Hmm. Okay, so guys, you have listened to her story. The first guy, after all the struggling with him, the guy said she should move on when the guy is sneak and travel do not even tell her only for the guy to come back when she has found another person only for the guy to come back and said he came for her that she he want to marry her now she's asking whether to go back to the first guy and she still love that guy or to continue with the the last guy that came into her life and start building him again start building future with that particular one again so guys please drop your opinion on the comment section what do you think that she should do drop any advice you feel like just drop for her she will be on the comment section so please you need to pray very well you need to be very sure that this guy come for you you need to think twice for him to leave you without telling you anything and run back again you need to think very well. So guys, please don't forget to share this video. Follow us for more. Thank you.